Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial from Oklahoma City University's Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can view captions or transcripts in a video created in D2L's media library. First, navigate to Oklahoma City University's D2L instance. Here you can see I've navigated to ocuonline.okcu.edu. Once you've logged in using your Oklahoma City University Microsoft Office 365 credentials, you will see the D2L homepage. Open up the course by selecting the Select a Course Waffle icon at the top or scroll down to the My Courses widget. I'm going to go ahead and open up the course that I know that I am enrolled in as a student. And here in my course, <clears throat> I have a video that has been posted as an announcement by my professor. So let's say I would like to watch a transcript or captions as I'm watching the video. So I'm going to click the gear icon that says settings. And the second option here says captions. Click this and then change to English US CC. Click the play button. You can see that my captions are working in the video. You can also click the gear icon to download and view a transcript. If you click the gear icon and come to the third option, you'll see an option that says view transcript. This will open the transcript and let you watch alongside the video. You will notice that the transcript is going to highlight the text as it is syncing alongside the video. If you would like to download the transcript, you can do so by clicking this download button and then clicking on the transcript txt file. It is saved to my downloads folder. I'm going to open that and rename the file. And then I'm going to open this with my Microsoft Word. You can see that I have an option here. If I right click and say open with, choose another app. Under more options, I can see Microsoft Word. You might see this in another location. Just open the file using Microsoft Word. You can tell that it's not all that pretty. So I'm just going to highlight all the text by hitting Control A and then changing it to a more readable font. There we go. Now you have the transcript saved onto your computer. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning.